I'm Sammy, and in this video, we're gonna do an unboxing of a Gobi rope light that I got for Christmas, and we'll see if it works out. That was your sneak peek. I got this rope light for Christmas last year, and it is February, and I mean over a year ago. So it's been 14 months. I've been in analysis paralysis with my rope light. I just wanted it to be perfect when I finally did set it up, but it's just been sitting on the floor next to my feet for over a year. And then last night, I was recording this video, which I link above. I'm still editing it. I'm very excited about it. It's all about if I was starting over as a new freelancer, what would I focus on what would I do so if you're interested in freelancing definitely check that one out but yeah I saw this setup of me and this lighting I was recording at night which I don't do a lot usually it's in the daytime that I'm filming and I was like I look like a youtuber look at those lights I've had Govi up there for a while actually the last time I think I did a unboxing video was those Govi lights which is on my other YouTube account did evangelism I think I can link that above if not I'll link it below and then I thought to myself well if I think that looks good imagine what it's gonna look like with these my original plan for these had been to put them on that wall behind me, which is right now just a blank wall. I'll show you. See? Absolutely blank wall. Nothing to see here. Which is typically my background for like Zoom meetings and stuff. Not that I do a ton of them anymore. Typically I put a virtual background on there anyway, but sometimes I'll do some filming where the camera's gonna be over there on my computer because I'm talking you through how to do something on the computer and I thought it would be really cool to have a design behind me, but I can't make up my mind as to what the design should be. I have no promises for how this video is going to turn out, but my new thought right now is if I put these lights like around the back of my desk or may and maybe the side or maybe the front. I think there's a lot of potential. I have no idea how long these things are. Did you hear me when I said it's been 14 months since I got this? I'm going to need you to ignore everything going on behind me. We have a small office, four businesses. It's tax season. The box is open. I must have looked at it when I first got it. But let's see what's inside. Immediately seeing a fun challenge because yet another plug I have to find a home for along with my two happy lights, clock, my walking pad, computer, my hard drive, those Govi lights. Hopefully I have a spot for this. All right, we got the lights themselves wrapped up very nicely. Looks like it has some controls there so I can keep the controls handy. My journey begins now. Thanks, Govi. We've got some alcohol prep pads. Guessing that's to clean surfaces for all these little buddies. Looks like three bags of these clips with five each, so 15 clips here. Got a bag of the screws and those white things. What's really funny is one of the businesses, my husband's business, is a handyman business, and so, like, he could totally do this in, like, two minutes, but I'm gonna do it. And he'll probably think this is super funny, especially because these probably have names. Do I know what the names are? No. Will I find out later? Probably. And of course we got the user manual. Now that this has technically been unboxed, I'm going to see how long this rope is when I unravel it and see how much space I actually have on my desk for it to reach. Well, let's find out. All right, first things first, undoing the straps on the rope. Big moment. Ooh, <laughs> not sure how to handle like the corner of my desk. Obviously it could bend around a corner kind of that way. Maybe I should look up inspiration pictures. Let's do that. You see that? That's on the Gobi site. It's very cool. I love the wave. Maybe I should just do that on the wall. Oh, do you see that? So freaking cool. New discovery. There are actually rope lights for desks. So maybe I should save this one and not try to put it on the desk. All right, I'm in. Let's do it. We're going to do it on the wall. The blank wall is not going to be blank anymore and I'm just gonna get over that. It's such a good blank wall though, but who wants a blank wall? Let's get another angle. All right, I guess we're just gonna do this. Oh, will I regret this one day? Aha, uh -huh. first one's in. It's weird because I need to bend it a little bit, but I don't wanna break it, obviously. I don't know what those screws are for. <laughs> I couldn't have planned that better. I figured out what the screws are for. That definitely took paint off the wall. <clears throat> wave. Oh, that looks really bad. And this isn't very pointy anymore. I think these things stick better when you don't clean it with alcohol. Don't use the alcohol wipes. If you're using it on walls, or at least when I did, it tore up the wall and it fell off. And when I didn't, it did not tear up the wall and it stuck a lot. How do they make their wave look so good? Okay, their wave is thinner and not as tall. Maybe my wave's too, too tall. I mean, my wave can be whatever I want it to be. I just want it to be pointy enough to look like a wave. Wave making. Who would have thought? It'd be really awful if all these things started popping off, like popping off the wall, not in a good way. So I just found this screw on the ground and I'm really hoping it's not for the chair I'm standing on, but this might be a foreshadow, hopefully not. So I don't know if they give you so many of these because they expect you might mess up and then they will lose their stickiness and you want backups, which would be very nice, thank you, Govi. Or if it's because you're supposed to give this thing like a ton of support, but I'm gonna try to use most of them, if not all of them, uh, because I don't want it just like popping off the wall. 
The nice thing is you can pull it through if you need a little more slack. So the light just like literally pops into these things and you can pull it out if you need to. And then like you can pull it around if you need more slack or anything like that. It's a lot of pressure again, but Govi Light can handle the pressure. Honestly, I don't really love the second half of it and I might want to change it because this is like the base of the wave and then it really should come back down to here. And it's like just continuing up there. Back to the credit card. I am undoing the ones I put on is coming apart from the gray part. I think I'm in a good place because I think I can use my final two to secure this. And then I got to peel off those old ones I didn't want. And then I can light it up. I am pretty happy with it otherwise. You know, once I fix it. So these are my last two. And I hope I put them in the right spot. No going back. So I'm just trying to go between the wall and the gray part and not between the gray part and the white part. So I'm trying to have patience, which is not my, uh, it's not my primary skill in life, but I, uh, I've had some practice over time. I think it's actually working. Hopefully I'm not destroying my credit card. Should probably uh, use the other end of it. Pro tip. All right, I got one. It has some wall on it, as you can see, but mostly the gray is on it. Wall marking there. So we'll have to repaint that. It looks like a wave. I'm happy with it. I really am. Let's light it up. So this little buddy has a sticky on him and I can actually stick him to the wall. All right, so we got the plug and then this cord connects to this one. Here we go. Oh, what? It's, it's dancing for us. It's saying, thank you for making me look so good. One of my favorite things about Gobi lights is that they are controllable by my phone. I have my office set up. I'll probably have to relabel that like computer wall because this is by device. I'm gonna click the plus sign to add a device. Nearby new devices, it already sees it's there. So I'm just gonna hit add. Please short press the on off button. I just double clicked and it worked. So I'm gonna name it. Actually, I wonder if I couldn't name it in emojis. I can. All right, so we're naming that waves. It gives me a video, but I already installed it. Hamburger. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Device failed. But I think it said this last time and it, it eventually worked. So I don't have any luck connecting these to Wi-Fi, but I can use my other one just fine with like Bluetooth. Let's see. Wait, is it responding to my voice? I guess it's working. The wave of my voice. That is the coolest thing and I am obsessed. I'm amazed that it looks this good after all we went through to get here. Like, I'm even happy with that one. Looks a little bit like a dinosaur from Land Before Time or something, but it's pretty cute. Gotta work on my cable management a bit, but uh, that's a later problem. This feels good. This feels good. And then all of a sudden, my later problem became a now problem. As you can see on the wall behind me, my lights totally came out of the clips. They could not support it. Thankfully, I emailed Govi and I submitted proof of purchase and they sent me 20 new clips to reinforce what I had going on. So I keep looking back at the computer because I'm actually looking at a picture from this video of how my wave used to look before it all completely came apart. And then I tried to do my best to match what I already had going on, knowing that I needed to give it a little bit more slack, make it not quite as intense of a pull on those points for the wave. Thankfully, with the 20 new clips, I was able to make every single wave have a ton of support. As you can see, I really struggled with trying to make sure that wave was really formed like a wave, but wasn't pulled too tight, so it wasn't adding too much pressure on my clips. And then I was running into the same problem I had originally, where my right side of my wave is like not level with my left side. So I ended up having to completely redo those. Thankfully, I had enough clips and I still have some extra in case I ever need to move the wave, but Gosh, I'll probably need more if that's ever the case. So watch to the end so you can see what it looks like when I finally turn the lights back on. But for now, here's a clip from before I knew there was actually a problem. Thanks for sticking with me on this one, y'all. Here's the next product that I probably will do an unboxing for. Again, I got this years ago and I never opened it. If you're a freelancer, a creator, a dreamer, or a doer, please subscribe to my channel for future videos. I don't just make office videos, but I like to make my office feel like a comfortable space that I can dream and I can do. I make a lot of tips for freelancers who want to make money online, but also want to focus and prioritize their mindset and well-being. So I hope you'll come back again, subscribe to make sure that happens, and I will catch you in the next one.